so we got some more speakers to blow out. Um, we got a, quite a lot this time. So to blow them out, we're gonna use this Crown D150A, but it's only 75 watts per channel, so it's, it's unlikely it's gonna be blowing out these things. So, so right. we got the variac. And there's your variac. So let's go. Let's see what this can actually do. Right, here we go. Oh, the amp is lit up already. Variac it is. All right, so let's see what it could take on the Variac. We're gonna bottom up be really low. 10. 10 volts? 20. 30. 40. 50. 50? 61. What kind of, oh, okay, that's. Wow. Doesn't seem like that little baby crown amplifier could blow out anything, so call out the numbers. Right, so you know what we should do? We should put the uh, the voltmeter on to see, cause that's not really accurate, those numbers on there. Ah, next time. That sounds funny. Yeah, what's up with that? Ten. Why is it so loud? How's it doing 50 volts, these little crappy speakers? Sharp, it says max 30 watts on it. How many volts is that? Um, I know 20 volts is 50 watts. Well, I don't know how many ohms that speaker is, so we gotta do the math for it. So we just upgraded some Hyundai Elantra speakers and oh, these are one of our stuff. customers, so these are the stock Hyundai Elantra speakers. Because it's probably a square wave. That light, that clip light was light like a light bulb. Yeah, they're sharp. I think from a boombox. Yeah, but this one sucks. Yeah, yeah. 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 So apparently, the sharp boombox speaker takes a substantial amount more power than those. Uh... Like it's not even switching. Turn it down. Let me see if it's getting hot. Oh, it's getting really hot. <laughs> but still, it took a lot more. And the crown is lit too. All right, I want to blow out the amp. Let's do the Variac. Back to the Variac. What kind of impossible speaker is this, man? I want yeah. some of these. Put in the cars. This is another sharp speaker. This is another sharp. What's that? These sound pretty good. 20 volts. 50. That How was that even possible? Right it's another Kenwood. 30. 50. Why is wow. that axle? I know it's like weird right, at 50 volts, right? 70. What? Are we going to do 100? that even taking that kind of power that was over 100 i saw the meter go up right, these came out the fisher box 15 watt 8 ohms so made in taiwan too let me see yep made in taiwan That's what oh yeah I guess it's seized up. These speakers came out of a 19, early 1970s uh, Fisher box. 
And if anyone knows why they would put a resistor in series, I mean, in parallel with the coil, let us know. Cause this one has it too. I just cut it in half so it doesn't show out the amp or, but yeah, if you know, let us know. I just chopped the resistor off. It happens to be a 22 ohm resistor. And there were no other crossover components, just that directly connected to the speaker terminals. Yep. All right. So these boxes are, I don't know what that is, Athena, so. It looks charred, is it charred? Oh, it's, oh, it's ripped. I think it has a tweeter to it. Charred pop, oh, look at that, cool. Hear that? Blow? No. Oh, play. Oh, that's the, oh, and a tweeter. One more of these Athena speakers. Yeah, hold on. Stop for a second. Oh, it is the spider I'm seeing. Cool. That's it for now. Say bye. Bye.